Namaste, my friends. Now, yoga is not as much about the body, nor is it as much about the mind. Yoga is actually about the heart. This is why my father, the great TK Videsikachar, titled his book, The Heart of Yoga. Because in yoga, we are talking about the role of consciousness, the role of self-realization, which is existing in the heart. And there's also a paradigm shift between ancient oriental knowledge and modern scientific knowledge because when ancient knowledge talks about the mind, they talk about the place of the mind being in the heart. Whereas modern science talks about the role of the mind or the place of the mind being in our brains. This is a very interesting difference. So when we have to try to understand yoga science, we have to understand it from the way yoga understands the mind, which is that its place is in the heart. An opening of the heart is very important in yoga practices because the concept of sukham and dukkham itself refers to the constriction of the space in the heart. When we are in dukkham, suffering, it means the heart space is feeling constricted and restricted. Whereas when we are searching for sukham, the word sukha means the heart space is open and expansive. So these are very important aspects of yoga to consider and that's why the opening of the heart is very important. Now when we say the heart, again it's not the heart as the organ that pumps blood, but the heart center, hridaya. And that's why many yoga practices are tailor-made to open the heart. Whether we take asana practice, whether we take pranayama practice, whether we take mantra practice, the goal of yoga is to reduce the constriction in the heart and to open the heart. That's why in yoga practices we talk about attitudes that are very important in the practice along with the practices like asana and pranayama. Attitudes like Maitri friendliness, Karuna compassion, up, uh, Mudita appreciation and Upeksha the concept of non-judgmentalism as well as those that are presented in the Yamas and Niyamas such as Ahimsa, non-violence, Satyam to be consistent with our reality, Aparigraha to not grasp too much, Brahmacharya, to be fidel, to be faithful, to be truthful, as well as uh, asteya, non-stealing, non not to take away what belongs to somebody else. Apart from the yamas, we also have attitudes like niyamas, where shaucha, to have purity of intention, santosha, to be content, Tapas, to reduce the toxic thoughts, toxic emotions that we have sometimes. Swadhyaya, self-reflection, self-inquiry. And Ishwara Pranidhana, the attitude of not being controlling, not, being, uh, not behaving in a way where we want everything to act in our way, but rather to be more accepting of what happens. All these become important platforms for the other techniques of yoga, to work. So these are all things that we actually must include in our yogic practices to open our heart. But sometimes this is not so easy and that's why sometimes we have certain technologies like mantras and bhavana which can be useful in opening our heart. Sometimes we are asking people to touch different parts of the body which includes the heart perhaps to use a mantra and the gesture of openness, etc. as practices that can slowly change the subconscious blockages, the subconscious locks that we have that has made our heart closed. So all these, my friends, we need to look at it in a case-by-case -case basis because why somebody has their heart open and why somebody has their heart closed is very subjective to their own individual experiences in life.
And that's why taking the guidance of a competent teacher who is our mentor, we need to evolve such strategies that allow us to open our heart step by step in a safe manner. A lot of people are afraid to open the heart because of the fear of vulnerability. But in yoga and traditional sciences, vulnerability is a strength. Vulnerability is not a weakness. We need to face our challenges and accept them so that we can grow from them. And that is very, very significant. And that is why the opening of the heart to oneself first and then to the others is very, very important. So my friends, please remember that yoga is about the heart. So take time to connect with the heart of yoga, which is nowhere but in your own heart. Namaste.